The Nikkei 225 index in Japan went up in 2023 due to several factors, including market reform, a weak yen, and increased investors' interest in Japan. However, recently, Nikkei 225 corrected by 9% from the recent high. Is there an opportunity here? Hello, I'm Bini here. Today in this video, I'll be discussing why Japan is the market to look at after investors have been avoiding it for many years and how to tap into any short-term trading opportunities. This video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. If you're interested in using Warrens for short-term trading, visit warrens.com.sg. Japan's recent market restructuring efforts and attempts to entice foreign investors have also contributed to the growth. For example, billionaire investors Warren Buffett has added to its holdings in Japan's five biggest trading houses. Japan's stock market reform is one of the factors that contributed to the Nikkei 225 index growth in 2023. The reform aims to boost capital efficiency in Japan's stocks market, and it has been gaining traction since its implementation. The Tokyo Stock Exchange has introduced new requirements for listed firms, especially those trading below book value, to properly identify their cost and efficiency of capital. Furthermore, Morgan Stanley named Japan the most promising stock market in Asia in a June 4th report, noting that return on equities ROE for listed equities has more than doubled in the last 10 years and was set to reach 11% to 12% by 2025. The yen has weakened against the US dollar, which is a blast for Japan's massive export trades. Finally, the shift to get companies to pay more attention to profits and stock prices have been evident, which has helped improve their value and increased incomes. Many Japanese companies are hating TSE calls and are increasing their returns to shareholders. The number of share buyback plans announced by companies has recorded historical high, far exceeding the levels in the past two financial years. With all these reasons and factors, Nikkei 225 reached a high of near 34,000 during June and September 2023. The world's third-largest economy has managed to emerge from deflation without runaway inflation, and capital expenditure from the private sectors is rising. Japan's nominal GDP, which measures output at current prices, is rebounding too. But Nikkei 225 has corrected by about 9% from the high and is nearing a critical level. Why is this support critical? Because this was a previous one-year high or a 52-week high that was finally broken. On well, the bigger trend of Nikkei 225, it's a very obvious uptrend. Price had broken out since the mid of 2022 out of this 117 week of consolidation. That's so that's about two and three two years and three months. At this moment, price has retraced. As I mentioned, it's moved down by about 9% from the high. And at this point right now, price is near to a support. This support was given by the previous high. That's the previous historical one-year high. And that was broken. The question would be, you know, whether there would be a support coming inside here or price would punch through. I'm right now at the day chart. Obviously, the market is noting the previous low as a notable resistance level. Price at this moment had formed a dodgy pattern. A dodgy pattern is a candlestick pattern that shows indecision. That means that traders are here deciding whether this previous low that act as a support previously it's going to be a strong resistance or not or price is going to continue to break down this near-term support level so let's take a look at the key level right now for nikkei 225 of course we know that the support is now very strongly at 30,500 level so this is a key support i would have to think that round number at around 30,000 it's going to be another strong support level here so we do have two supports to look at for Nikkei 225. But in the short term, now price had ran into a resistance and that's about 31,200 level. So this was given by this recent low here, which act as a resistance at this moment. So I think that what Nikkei 225 is presenting now would be some short-term trading opportunity. And if you are interested in short-term trading opportunity into Nikkei 225 on this very clear level, let's check out what What's happening up in the Warren site? I'm right now at the warrens.com.sg page. Not only that, you can trade into the US market on the various indexes like S&P 500, Dow Jones, or the Nasdaq. You can even trade into Hang Seng or Hang Seng Tech. 
at warrens.com.sg under warrens tools here click warren selector this will bring you to this warren selector place then choose the underlying as nikkei 225 if you are bullish on nikkei 225 you can choose a call warren if you are bearish then you can choose a put warren for example i choose a call warren and it comes to this place here where it gives me three different call warrens with the one that shows a fire logo so this fire logo means that this is a trending warrens that are trading trading on tighter spreads as well as having higher liquidity and sensitivity. Let's do a bit of a simulation here. If I think that Nikkei 225 might be able to head up to 32,000 in four weeks, and this is where the different warrants will display a possible returns. Now, these are the percentage or amount that you might be able to make from trading into Nikkei 225 warrants. But as much as you can make this money, you can also lose the same amount as well. So as a disclaimer, it is dangerous and high risk to trade into warrants without getting educated. So that is the reason why I think that you should go inside the warrants education to understand more about warrants and how to get started into warrants. Nikkei 225 is one of the few markets that have broken out of a recent historical high. Japan's inflation is on the rise as targeted by the Bank of Japan. Do you think that Japan stock index Nikkei 225 will continue to move up on this very important price level? Share with me in the comment section. You might also want to watch another video which I made on the effects of Japanese trip money. Till then, and hit that subscribe button to know what I'm looking at for the next video.